morning guys, welcome back. <coughs> welcome if it's your first time. I'll try and be gentle on you. Uh, it's not that bad. Uh, we're back irrigating. I uh, just was hoping we might have been able to get a few more days out of it uh, before we had to start and irrigate again. Just with the, um, if you're new to the channel, we had about 80 mil of rain on Christmas day. So uh, that sort of has yeah, given us a bit of a leg up with um, our summer crop just it's just postponed a bit of watering uh, now looking at the probe the corn is still using or it's using plenty of moisture so I was hoping we might have been able to um, get another three or four days or three days anyway but it's just starting to tassel which I'll um, I'll show you in a, in a minute and uh, I just thought rather than sort of waiting um, we are well we're Sunday today so rather than sort of waiting till the week I just said oh we'll, we'll get it going and and yeah try and keep that profile full while it's um, yeah starting to go into three productive jobs there's still water running a bit of urea um, we haven't got all the urea on this stuff and if you watch the last video I was talking about getting the plane into top dress just so we could get that extra urea on um, header fronts are still here from well both the windrow and header fronts are still here from clean down um, which they need to go on a shed or need to get washed properly and then go on a shed uh, but yeah because we're because we're going to irrigate I thought we'll just keep running a bit of urea as well with it so uh, previously I had the bulker bag and dropping a bulker bag in it but I sort of had a think and I thought well, we might as well just pick this thing up and and fill it straight out of the out of the field bin rather than um, yeah, mucking around with bulker bags because they're, they're dangerous on a good day, the old bulker bag. So anyway, we'll chuck this thing under here and fill this up and we'll take it down and get him set up.
So I've set our little um, urea dispenser in the channel here. What I've done, because I'm going to start the pump and have water coming in from essentially both directions, so the supply um, out of our outlet comes that way and then obviously the, the recycle water comes from the, the other end. I'm just going to sit it, uh, sit this thing sort of at the outlet. Um, I'll just pick it up and shift it with the with the telehandler. These first three bays didn't get a lot of water. Uh, sorry, didn't get a lot of urea the first time we did it because it was playing up and, and that. So I just thought we'll, we'll start it here. I'll probably do it for the first three maybe um, and then um, yeah, see how we go. So, but I've got eight megs coming in, uh, eight megalitres coming in from the from our outlet out of the supply, um, and then the pump does. I don't know. It does sort of five probably. Um, so anyway, I think this thing we've got all the gremlins out of it now. It should be working all right. So we'll go on. Um, I need to go and close a few doors, and uh, yeah, fuel the pump up and and get it going too. Um, we'll just sog just go do I might do that first and then I can I'll just show you the corn it's as you can see well I'm standing on the bank the channel bank here and it's taller than me and I'm about six foot tall so it's it's getting pretty big in spots so but you can just see where's one oh, probably can't see it through the camera but anyway that's all right we'll find a tassel and I'll um not that I know a hell of a lot about it either we'll we'll try and get Pete here and um yeah get him in front of the camera like we did Miranda and get him to give us a bit of a rundown hopefully this week he'll be um he'll be back over this way so I'll try and pin him down if I can. Farm manager with me, Tilt Tilt. Just come down start the pump. Fingers crossed the prawns up alright. Break all that pop, we should do any drama. Still got rain for this week so we'll just bit of another sort of thunderstormy change by the looks of it with forecast all over the, all over the shop a bit one forecast got 10 to 20 mil Tuesday Wednesday and then another one just sort of got about 15 mil for the two days so we'll just suck it to see see what happens all good all right so we just wandered in here and what we've got here is what they call the tassel. So it's just starting to tasseling, tassel now. Um, but if we look down here, we've actually got um, the cob starting to develop. So, um, yeah, they're just starting to get um, to that reproductive stage. I've just walked in off the first bay here. This was this is probably one of the worst bays. Like it's, I don't know, it'll be six where it's, where it's good it'd be sort of seven foot tall maybe um yeah but just looking at the ground probably a bit hard to tell it does still look damp but you can see there are a few cracks there um so i think we're doing the right thing with the water but um it's got good canopy closure now being so tall so the sunlight's sort of not getting right to the right to the ground um yeah so that's sort of saving a bit on evaporation hopefully but the crop itself's um, using plenty now so um, anyway we'll uh, yeah keep chipping away at it and yeah get this bit of urea on and then we'll just see we were there was a bit of discussion about once it gets to tasseling about putting a uh, an insecticide across it just to control any um, anything that's eating it but you can see there's a little bit of few holes there something chewing on it but I wouldn't have wouldn't have said it was um, yeah filthy with bugs by any stretch so just come down to set the water up starting to warm up which is good we've got the uh, shorts on which you don't see me in shorts very often but anyway uh, so yeah, just set the times up the first bay's down in about five and a half hours so it is running over a bit quicker um, so I've just yeah set the timers up and got them for five and a half hour changes um, and yeah these will get me through till uh, I'll get through till sort of mid-morning now so we won't have to come back down um, I'll shift the grab the telehandle on in a minute and shift the urea dispenser down here um, and yeah we should be should be right to go but you just see the leaves have changed colors since this morning so it um, yeah and you look here on the outside it is it's is pretty dry and ground's cracking again so um, I think we've made the right decision with 
going a bit earlier with the watering and um, yeah especially as I said earlier there's a few tassels starting to poke up so it's um, yeah reasonably critical time for it to yeah you know and it's sort of moisture stressed when it's when it's doing what it's doing so and yeah look if we get a shower run on Tuesday I don't think it'll matter too much either so as long as we don't get another 80 mil we'll have water everywhere so anyway uh, no danger noodles either to speak of yet which is good so um, yeah I'm keeping an eye out for them I don't have a shovel with me for protection but anyway we'll uh, fingers crossed we don't come across any morning happy new year 2024 is upon us uh, yeah hope you didn't party too hard last night <coughs> we didn't uh, get too carried away I think the older you get the uh, earlier you end up in bed bugs are floating around this morning already uh, yeah just went down the river here with some um, yeah, Sarah's brother and his wife and kids and um, yeah Katie used my sister-in-law, her brother and um, his wife and kids were down, so yeah, just had a barbie and kids had a swim and game of cricket, and yeah, so pretty casual, so, but up early, uh, well, yeah, woke up and didn't go back to sleep, so uh, yeah, we thought we'd uh, catch up on a bit of YouTube on telly for an hour and have a cup of tea and then come around the water, so, anyway. So, just down here, a little urea dispenser's motoring away quietly. Uh, it's actually out of urea, so that's alright. Um, outlets have worked well, so we've got uh, nearly four, to four bays watered, so we'll shift the, the monitor, the time, uh, yeah, shift the timers now and set the next um, couple up. And yeah, got the pump going, I just need to grab a bit more fuel for it. But uh, yeah, it's going to be. Gonna be a nice enough day. Start as I said earlier on in the video. It's starting to warm up again, which is good. But uh, yeah, I think it would have got to 30 degrees yesterday, 32 or three, without much trouble. So anyway, we'll get these set up and uh, gonna have some brekkie. a little bit anyway no all good again it's a little bit to it but it's not too bad using the telehandler we can yeah it does take a fair bit of the work out of it uh, yeah this bay will open in about half an hour so um, I do have the pump going again so there'll be a bit of water flowing flowing that way or flowing to the east and the waters pumps coming from the west so anyway um, yeah it'll just it'll dissolve there in the channel so it'll be right uh, yeah Chuck sun's just coming up over the horizon 
Yeah, we'll just go and get a bit more fuel. Need to get a bit more fuel for the pump. The jerry can is about empty, so I will just had enough in it to get it started. But I'll um, yeah, go and fill it up, and actually need a new get a new filter for the pump. We've ended up with a bit of moisture when we were using the lay flat hose. I reckon um, it was spraying, it had a hole in it, it was spraying towards the motor, and the lid on the fuel tank's not brilliant. Um, so there is a bit of crap in that fuel tank. So I just noticed a couple of times the uh, pump, the motor has been surging a little bit, but I think it's um, yeah, I've taken the filter off and the filter was sort of full of crud and um, gunk, so i try and uh, public holiday today, so yeah, tomorrow we'll get on deck and um, yeah, try and get a new, track a new filter down for it, but uh, we should nearly, uh, we should be two changes during the night, um, yeah, and it'll, should, we should be able to pump the last bay, so. Uh, yeah, it's actually it's run over pretty quickly now, so which is good. Just come down to set the last of the timers up. A uh, few more tassels starting to appear, which is good. Uh, it's a warm enough day again today to be 30, I don't know, be 31 or 2 probably, might be a bit more. Um, still talking sort of 5 or 10 mil tomorrow, so I'll wait and see. It's pretty humid still, so. Uh, but yeah, got on the third last bay now so there'll be another one uh, no sorry that's not right yes it is so it'll be changed at 11 o'clock tonight and then I'll have to come down about 5 a.m. and, and uh, this one here the, the outlet's a bit low and the the thing that's been welded on to carry the the timer thing the gizmo um, isn't quite the right angle so um, yeah, you can see there the channel's pretty full it's actually just flowing over it, which won't matter. But, um, but what I'll do is I'll change the water over onto the back onto the rice in the morning, and there'll be enough water in the in the dam to to pump this bay um, to water it with what we've got there in the storage. So should work alright. Goes to plan. Well, right, that'll nearly do this one. So yeah, got the water set up for tonight. Um, I actually filled up the urea, urea um, bin again, so it's it's probably going out a bit heavier than what. Um, yeah, that it's running properly, uh, what we sort of first worked out, but that doesn't matter. Um, we'll put on sort of about that three ton uh, for this watering, so that'll be it's sort of 150 kilos, which will be good. Um, so whether we put any more on, it's about up to date now. With we're sort of aiming for around that, I think 650 ki uh, 600 kilos. So um, it's had you know 300 up front, and then we spread 150 with the tractor, and then it's had. Uh, another 150 water runs, so we'll just see how it looks. I'll be on the agros um, this week and see what they reckon, but it's pretty simple um, now that we've sort of got the system worked out and it's it's, behave, it's working and behaving itself and doing what it's supposed to be doing, so. Uh, yeah, anyway, back into it this week. Brendan's back on deck tomorrow. Um, don't know what Tony's doing, but yeah, we'll start and, start and get a bit of stuff organised, get the header organised, um, there's a few jobs to do on it, so, uh, and we'll have to get the boom spray on the tractor, we'll have to start and spray, do some summer spraying on stubbles, there's a few of them that have got, um, yeah, a bit of milk thistle and that sort of stuff coming, and yeah, uh, just, yeah, sort of start and, and, and plan for going forward, so, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one, ta-da!